Hello, friendos. I want to talk about YouTube today because they've changed their algorithm again and it's a bit of a nightmare. So, um, I was talking to my friend Alex about this and apparently what YouTube wants now is longer videos. Uh, they don't like anything under 10 minutes or 8 minutes or whatever it was last time around. Um, and it's, it's tough. It's getting tough. It has been tough for a very long time now. I started YouTube in 2010 and back then it was very straightforward. You made a video, you uploaded a video, people either watched it or they didn't. And if people did watch it, they liked it, they subscribed, that was it. It was great. And any time you uploaded a video in the future, in the subscription feeds. Uh, I was informed by a couple of subscribers that several of my last videos did not appear in their subscription inboxes. What's the point of subscribing? What is the point? Honestly, YouTube, sort your shit, dude. What is going on? Ever since they brought this algorithm thing in, it's been a nightmare. And it's probably because since I started in the last decade, so many more people started YouTube channels. It became a nightmare to try and manage it all manually. They started with this algorithm shit, and here we are. So, what does that mean for this channel? Well, I'm not throwing a wobbler. I'm not going, hey, you guys, why didn't you watch my shit anymore? Me. Because, to be honest, I'm, I'm past that. I really am. Uh, for the longest time now, I... I've been treating YouTube like it's a hobby, like it's a, okay, I've, I've got some free time, this will be fun to do. Uh, and whereas beforehand, certainly in the first sort of half of my YouTube career, I was like, I want to get big, I want to have lots of subscribers, oh my god, success you guys, you know, and it kind of goes to your head. And then whenever your video doesn't do as well as other people's videos or whatever, you kind of sit there and you beat the shit out of yourself and you go like, oh, well, I'm, I'm crap, I'm terrible, I'm awful. And, and the truth of the matter is, I'm not crap or terrible or awful. I, in fact, I think I'm a pretty decent content creator. I think I'm a pretty decent guy. Like, you know, not to blow my own horn, but beep, beep. <laughs> but, you know, I am. Like, I understand media. I understand everything that goes into making videos and that sort of thing. Uh, I studied it for, for two whole years. I have a, a degree in media, for God's sake. Uh, and I like to think I'm putting it to damn good use, be it both in my actual job, be it on here, be it working on Anthony's channel or anyone else's channel, you know, like I, I'm a good editor. Uh, and I like to think that I can set up a decent shot. But yes, um, as for this channel, we got to make some changes. It's got to happen. It's got to happen because that's, that's the way that YouTube is now. So, if, um, if you're annoyed or pissed off about any of the following, be on YouTube. So, uh, there's a big problem, I think, with the stuff that I make on my channel. In that, it is not consistent. I think what, what YouTube seems to want these days, apart from longer videos, is consistency. They want one channel, one thing. And, to be honest with you, I, I don't have the patience to maintain more than one channel. I mean, I look after my own channel, um, I upload stuff and help out Anthony whenever I can for his channel. Um, there's the old Votes Action channel, which, to be honest, I haven't had the patience for. I haven't went near it since I, I put all the old videos and stuff back up on it. Um, but yeah, with, with this channel and what I've been doing since the start is, hey, I don't just like one thing. I like all these other things. Check them out. And YouTube is like, no, 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 Steve, you cannot do this. What? Uh, so, I do not just things about stuff. Big balls of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. I, I don't just talk about Doctor Who. I don't just talk about Robot Wars and Battlebots. I don't just talk about Jurassic Park or Terminator or Ghostbusters or Back to the Future or, or that sort of thing. Like, I talk about this, this whole big ball of wibbly wobbly, nerdy wordy stuff. You know? Um... But YouTube no like that. And also on top of that, there's there's three kind of big formats on this channel. There is the toy reviews, which is where it all began. There is the Doctor Who spoilerific reviews, which have grown and morphed over the years. And now they're the, the show, I guess, that they are with me and Anthony. And then occasionally Alex and whoever else is on. Uh, and then there's the, the BattleBots drop zone reviews. And those are the, the, the kind of the big three. Now... Of those three, two are consistent. 
the spoilerific reviews are for Doctor Who and Doctor Who related stuff. So, like, in the future, we, we hope to get around to doing things like Torchwood, Sergey and Adventures, whatever. Um, but we've got Series 4 onward up to Series 10 with Doctor Who still to do. You know, so that's going to take us a, a good long while. Uh, with the drop zone, all battle bots, all robot fighty stuff. So, uh, again, in the future, and, you know, knock wood, but if the day comes, the battle bots no longer comes back. The drop zone will still exist. We'll go back and we'll do classic battle bots. We'll do classic robot wars. Even the reboot robot wars, you know, it'll be great. But that is a long way away in the future. And even with spoilerific reviews, you know, like once everything else is out of the way, maybe classic who? Who knows? Eh? Uh, <laughs> like we, we, we've, we've talked about it. We've discussed it. Um, but yeah, so, so those two seem to be the way to go. Because they are longer videos. They do really well. Like, um, like if you look at the the view count over the past even year, the past twelve month period, drop zone and spoilerific reviews get a good couple of thousand odd odd views per video, and the algorithm seems to eat them up like they're jammy dodgers. It just goes, bah, 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 you know. Uh, don't cut that and use that as a meme, please. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so. YouTube seems to like those. People seem to like those because it's me and Anthony at a table talking rubbish. You know, and there's no script, there's, there's nothing like that. These videos seem to do quite well, I've noticed. Like, there's a lot of, of positive response to these videos where it's what YouTube was whenever YouTube first started, where it's a guy or a girl or a person, whoever, sitting in front of a camera just going, Hey guys, here's some bullshit. So, <laughs> so I, I think what I'm getting at here is... There's an odd one out, and it's the toy reviews. And to be honest, I've kind of felt myself pulling away from toy reviews over the past couple of years. Like, it, it was great back in the day because it didn't matter what it was. You know, like, if it was, oh, hey, a new Hot Toys Iron Man, or, hey, a lightsaber replica, or, hey, Lego, you know, or whatever. Like, people would watch it, you know, and they would go, oh, my God, this is so cool. Like, and, oh, I'm glad I didn't have to buy this because it's crap. You know, um, but the the older I've gotten, the more I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done collecting stuff. Like, um, prime example, right? So I went to, to my local toy shop a couple of, let's say, months now back. And I'm walking around the aisles and had the new Jurassic World stuff out. And I went, okay, that stuff's cool. Not interesting, but that stuff's cool. And then I saw the in-gen hunter vehicle from The Lost World, which is one of my all-time favorite Jurassic Park vehicles. And I was like, oh my god, they made a toy of it, and it's accurate, and it looks so cool, and it comes with a rolling tambo figure, oh my god. So I picked it up, and I saw that it had the little slidey outdoor thing, the, the light rigger, and I went, oh, so cool. And immediately in my head, I'm picturing the review, I'm picturing... You know, the slow-mo shots and like, oh, they'll twist in at this angle and I'll, I'll shoot it in super slow-mo for whenever the outrigger comes out, you'll, you'll get that smooth shkunk of the seat coming out. And then it just sat in my collection room for like a month. And eventually I was like, oh crap, I'm going to go see Jurassic World Dominion on Friday. This was supposed to be out for that. What the hell? So um, I, I bust my ass to make this review, and I literally do. My ass busted, thump, busted, right? Uh, because I had to cut the grass, because I wanted to do you know, all the sexy shots on the lawn and make it look like jungle, you know? So I was like, I'll piss off to cut the grass, make sure there's no dog poop anywhere, you know, life stuff. So I do all that, and like literally I'd work that night so I'm sitting like bashing through this going like um yes and then over here you can see the detail looks really great and uh there's this features here blah 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 you know I, and having to make the review and it was tough but I did it and I went oh my god thank god that's done I can upload it that that has performed so poorly <laughs> like I don't even think it's eight minutes long because I don't believe in wasting people's time I think there's enough of that on the internet these days like, you know, even whenever you click on an article, 
There's like an entire page worth of guff before you get to the actual story. Same in YouTube videos. There's all this, hey guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys, seriously. And like, oh my god, we're so great because today we're going to be talking about a thing and blah blah blah. Just talk about the thing! What are you doing? Just talk about the thing! Stop wasting my time! I'm going to die soon! But those are minutes I will never get back. I know I'll just waste them anyway, but that's beside the point. I don't like wasting people's time. And I feel like even making a video like this, I'm wasting people's time. Like, you guys have probably clicked off this already. And if you haven't clicked off it by now, write Shibaloob in the comment section. Doesn't matter how you spell it, just Shibaloob. Uh, but yeah, uh, so put that video up and it, it just did crap to me. Like, I think it... Has it even broke a thousand views yet? Excuse me. Oh, hang on. TikTok's still open. Uh, <laughs> that's another thing too. TikTok, I, I don't understand it. I've tried uploading stuff uh, to f from Anthony's channel to TikTok, but it's just been never. Yeah, look at that. A week ago, 578 views on that um, that, that Lost World Jurassic Park thing. Um, the, the Hexbug announcement as well. It would be really nice if people check that out because it is a good offer. I can get some money off, and they're available in the UK. Blah, blah, blah. But that's beside the point. Um, so, after a long thinky thinkness, I think it's time to knock the toy reviews on the head. Not entirely. Before people start worrying or freaking out or whatever, my big issue is a certain video that pops up at the end of the year. The top 10 toys video. The reason why I bought that, that Lost World Jurassic Park set wasn't because I was like, Oh my god, I need this! It was, I looked at it and I went, This can either go in the top ten, or in the bottom five. And that's another one. And and it's, it's kind of forcing me into a corner where it's like, You have to do 15 toy reviews at least per year. Otherwise you can't make a top ten toys video. You need ten for the top ten. You need five for the bottom five. So you've got to go out and get stuff. And... Back in the day, that was fairly straightforward enough because I reviewed a lot of Doctor Who stuff. Because there was a lot of Doctor Who stuff to review. Both good and bad. And, and I loved it. I loved being a Doctor Who collector. And I loved picking up the figures. The, you know, those 5.5 inch figures, just gorgeous stuff. Really great detail. Awesome articulation. Um, and that extended to other things as well. Like the remote control toys, the play sets, uh, the... The, the role play toys, of course, like, lest we forget the sonic screwdriver. Hello? You know? Um, but then it's, and then, like, throughout that, you could pepper in other stuff. So, like, if, uh, like, just randomly off the top of my head, like, uh, a Hot Toys Terminator figure, or uh, a Thor hammer, or whatever, you know, like, you could pepper that in. And if it didn't do too well, that was fine, because you had a Doctor Who review coming out, and that would get the numbers up again that make the algorithm happy um, and uh, it also meant the people that watch Doctor Who stuff that also happened to like Marvel or happened to like Ghostbusters or whatever could look at your channel and go oh my god he reviewed this I liked this Doctor Who review on that so I'm gonna check this out and it you know it was it was kind of like a, a symbiosis like one helped the other and it was great YouTube don't work like that no more. No, they don't. No, they don't. Um, so, like, if it's not something that the, I guess the algorithm tracks what you watch on individual people's channels, like, if, so, like, say if you're here for Doctor Who, you ain't gonna get anything but Doctor Who. And I proved that because uh, I made a video talking about the new laser screwdriver replica. Boom! Made a video talking about, hey, you can get a disc out in BattleBot stuff. Yeah, not too bad, thousand views. Made a video on Jurassic Park. <laughs> Nightmare. You know, and again, like, it, it's very easy to sit here and look like I don't give a shit. Or, like, I'm the type of guy that's like, Oh my god, 500 views, that shit. Whereas a lot of people would sit there and go, I'd love to have 5,000 views for a video. That's fucking great. That is great. But for a channel that has, like, what? How many fucking subscribers do I have now? I've lost track. 34, 34.8 thousand subscribers. 500 views in a week? Really? What's going on? What's that all about, YouTube? You fuckers. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, like, it's it's a nightmare. It's a fucking nightmare. And, like, the, the worst part of it is the toy reviews are easily 
sorry, I've been doing cocaine all night. I actually don't. I'm old now, you see, so I'm actually starting to grow hair out of my nostrils. Aren't I disgusting? And the worst part is, this is going to happen to you too someday. Yes, it will. You mark my words. You'll get hair out of your nostrils and it'll tangle in your moustache. And you'll have to spend all your life on, on videos going, Oh my God, that guy picks his nose all the time. No, he doesn't. He separates his nostril hair from his moustache. I'm disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, oh God, I've lost track of what I was saying now. That's annoying, isn't it? Um, yeah, so the, the toy reviews. They are, they are, by and large, the hardest thing to make. They cost the most money. Um, it's, it's where all the, the Patreon funds go to. And to be honest, times are kind of tough right now. My hair is deflating, sorry. Um, times are kind of tough right now. And the, the worst part of it is, me and Anthony don't exactly live next door to each other. There's, there's a good half hour drive. Uh, in both directions between us and with petrol prices going up with my car being an absolute shit house to be fair it's fine now but for a long time there it was misfiring all the time um and there was other things wrong yeah it was overheating and that sort of thing turns out i needed a new coil pack and that cost me a sweet 110 pounds it's great being an adult yay um <laughs> so a lot of money goes on petrol and that's why, like, I never turn around to Anthony and go, like, you know, give me petrol money, you know? Because Patreon covers that. YouTube covers that. It's great. And it's a, it's a, it's a great tax write-off as well. Just keep your receipts. Uh, yeah, so in order to make spoilerific reviews, in order to make the drop zone, that costs petrol money. But it's a lot cheaper than it would be to go out and buy a new toy every week and do a review or a new prop replica. I mean, for goodness sake, I, I had to start a payment plan for that laser screwdriver because I, one, I really want it. I've wanted it since 2007. I think it looks great. I think it would make a fucking badass review, not gonna lie. Um, I also, it's Roberto. And I feel like I've been very, very harsh on Roberto. So I wanna get something that I know I love. And I'll do a review of it, and I can get to look at it and go, does this represent what I want to see as a collector? Are Rubber Toe capable of that? You know, because as much as I love the 11th Dr. Sonic, Laser Screwdriver is my boy, you know? So, yeah, the, the toy reviews are the most expensive. They take the most amount of time. They take the most amount of effort. Like, that's not to say that the spoilerific reviews or the drop zone takes a lot. Because it doesn't. It's, it's, it's tricky, but the setup is a lot harder than the actual editing, shall we say. So, like, setting up the cameras and making sure everyone's framed right. You'll, you'll notice a lot of times in, uh, in, like, the drop zone or spoilerific reviews where, like, I'm framed like this and Anthony's framed like this. And it's, it's a nightmare trying to get that right. So it'd be nice to have like a third person in there to like frame us up properly because it's it's up to me to do it, you know? Uh, as for the editing, it's pretty chill. You know, like um, I've noticed with, um, with Drop Zone especially, it's the hardest and the easiest because you edit everything in sections. So like you edit your intro and while that's rendering, you have another editing software open and you start editing the first fight and so on and so forth. And then you edit the the CPZ, the Combat Patrol Zone, then you edit the outro and then slam it all together, get all your pecky wickies, get your reactions whenever we're sitting watching it on the TV, uh, and put it all together. That becomes a lovely jam of, of happy madness and you upload it and people go, oh shit. <laughs> and that's the internet. Uh, the Spotify reviews are a hell of a lot easier because you just, you sit, you watch it, you react to it, you go out to the table, you talk about it, and then you just edit the, the different camera shots, so it'll be like a wide shot, a shot of me, a shot of Anthony, uh, and then I cut away to whatever the hell it is that we're talking about uh, at that particular time in the video. So, yeah, They're, and they they do well, I think, is, is the important part to remember here. So, for me, I think the way forward, and I, I don't want to take any action without consulting you all first because you're the reason why I'm here. You're the reason why I 
make videos and why I wanted to make this video because I want to hear what you guys think and I know like it's very easy for a lot of people to turn around and go oh it's your channel and upload whatever you want well, I don't think it's as simple as that like I, I, I like getting feedback like ultimately the decision rests with me but I don't want to make an uninformed decision I want to hear from you guys like what, what you guys want most of all but for me I'm considering just backscaling on the toy reviews if I backscale on the toy reviews, I'm probably not going to make 15 reviews a year. If I don't make 15 reviews a year, I can't make the top 10 toys video. Now, I could do a review of the year type deal, type situation. Or I could do something else. I don't know. I like doing that, that capper video at the end of the year. I think it, it just it's such a great way to kind of close out the year. And I love doing it, like that entire week, the week after Christmas and before New Year's, I love sitting down and just having something to do. Because, you know, like I usually book Christmas and New Year's off. And I don't know why. I don't do anything. I don't go anywhere. I don't see anyone. I just sit in my boxers having pizza and curry juice just all down my top uh, and leftover bits of turkey. And I just sit and watch TV or play video games and just do nothing and it's it's horrible and I hate it so it's nice to have that ability to go oh well I have to edit this and I have to do that and what's the bottom five sketch going to be and all that sort of thing um, so yeah having said that toy reviews ain't gonna go away entirely as I said I have things on pre-order I have the, the laser screwdriver coming I have the, the tissue compressor, James, whenever that finally shows up. Two years, James. Two years. Um, and I've, I've only like sort of like little bits and pieces, but I think, I just, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a bit old in the tooth now to be going, hey guys, Marvel figures, or like, hey guys, Ghostbusters, am I right? You know? Um, cause I, 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 I went out of my way to get that, um, mini puffed marshmallow three pack from Ghostbusters Afterlife and, uh, I burnt the shit out of myself doing that review because if you notice there's one part in the, in the sexy montage shots at the start where like there's a big cup of hot chocolate that they're all around. Yeah, I, I, I tried to get one of their heads to float on top of one of the marshmallows and the fucker sank right to the bottom and I went, oh shit, and I went in to grab it. Burnt the Christ out of myself. Yeah, finger and thumb. So that was fun. Uh, and put it online, barely a thousand views. What is happening with my hair? See, it's the heat. It's the heat, that's the problem. My hair goes mad in heat. I, I, I don't know why. My hair is in heat. Goodness me, look at that. Disaster. I'm a walking disaster. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of the long and short of it, really. Um, I want to continue with spoiler reviews and drop soon. Because they're fun. And it also means you, you get this really nice break. Because BattleBots is not all the time. Doctor Who is not all the time. And you can have a couple of weeks off. Like right now for instance. It may look like nothing has gone up on this channel at all. That's not the case. Um, like well it is the case. Nothing has gone up on this channel. What am I talking about? But whenever you don't see me make a video for a while. It's not like I'm sitting going. Like, far from it. Um, I'm either working, uh, I'm dealing with things in my personal life, things I've I've had to have dealt with since the start of this year, which um, has just been fucking devastating, like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I have some really bad news, again, there recently, like, within the last couple of days, um, which, which, again, I don't think it's is appropriate to talk about. But... Uh, I'm also working on stuff for Anthony's channel. Like we're we're currently working really hard to try and get the the next series of Antweed Anarchy done, which is something that a lot of people in this channel probably won't have heard of or, or care about. But but we care about it because it's our hobby. And it's really fun, and we love doing it. And I love editing it. Like I love filming it. I love the fights. But my God, I love the editing. I love getting to go yeah yeah if i was in charge of robot wars this is what i'd do this is what i'd make it look like um and it's it's so much fun 
So that's that's currently what I'm working on. Well, me and Alex, who has been long suffering in silence, Alex, um, he does an amazing job making our graphics. It's like our little stat boards and that sort of thing. And then he sends them to me because I've been badgering him, going like, Alex, can you get this done? Alex, 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 Alex. I know you don't have a life, Alex, but can you do this? Can you? Alex, come on! Uh, so once he sends those over to me, um, I start making them up and putting them together and that sort of thing. And uh, it's a fun time and sexy and it's cool. So yeah, I enjoy doing that. But the, the good thing about Anthony's channel is he doesn't really upload much. It's literally just like... I think on his channel for the last, what, three, four years, it's just been Outweight Anarchy. So he's fine. Algorithm's got him covered. Outweight Anarchy episodes are at minimum half an hour long. So uh, there's no real worry there. Like with this channel, however, there is because of that inconsistency level. So yeah, um, I think that's about it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'd really appreciate your input here. I'd appreciate to hear what you guys think should be the direction going forward for this channel. Um, I just, I think I've kind of reached a level now with YouTube where I'm just like, okay, fine, whatever. What do you want? What have you done different now? What do you need me to change? Whatever. So it's been fun doing the toy reviews, but I, I just, I think like there, there's people that get stuff sent to them. I don't like being that guy. Like, I got that uh, Hexbug set thing sent to me, but the thing is, I've always loved Hexbug. I've always, like, any time I've done a review on Hexbug things, like, even if it's not as good as it was before, I'm still like, yeah, okay, it's, it's alright, you know, but, like, at, at, at its core, it still maintains all the things I liked about initial releases, and, um, like, their, their Saw Blaze and Whiplash are, by and large, my greatest favorite favorite toys of all time ever. I think they're fantastic. Um, like their Bite Force and Blacksmith was great. The, the Rusty and Hypershock? Hmm. Don't know about that. Uh, I will review it. Don't get me wrong. Of course I will. It's robot fighty goodness. So, yeah, like I, I, I think with people getting shit sent to them, they get it sent like way early and way in advance. Like I, I've noticed that with the Doctor Who stuff. There, there's no chance in hell I will ever get anything Doctor Who sent to me because I'm too honest and I've, I've called out character options multiple times in the past for being lazy, offering shitty repaints, offering shitty excuses for why they keep doing this when we all know the real reason, money. Um, and like they, they, they send these things out. Like I had a conversation with a guy I was doing a podcast with a couple of months back, well a long time ago now, but half a year ago. Our, and he said the same thing, like, oh, well, you know, like, Evolution PR, whoever the fuck it is, sends you out these, these pieces of shit, and, like, you look at them and go, oh, well, I'll do a favourable review on these, because they were sent to me for free, and I got them before everyone else. You know, and, like, you look at those and you go, man, that's, that, that's so fake, and it's why Doctor Who has shit products now. Call them out. What the hell? You know? So, it's just, it's a shame that people are being influenced to be part of this corporate side of things where it's like no just consume product do not question quality consume product and ever since i've started youtube i've always been the opposite i've been like no tell them they're shit don't buy them tell them they are crap and that's the only way you're going to change it because if, if you go out and you buy shitty products and you make videos about them and go oh my god you guys these are so great then you're going to keep getting shit products and that's what's happened to the Doctor Who toys over the last couple of years. Where I've actively stopped. I, I, I hold my hands up in complete protest. Uh, because they're crap. They are crap quality. They are shitty re-releases upon re-releases. Uh, and there's been fuck all from the new series. Like, genuinely, right? I'm not a big fan of the Jodie Whittaker era of Doctor Who. But I would review everything that came out from it. And truth be told, I think I have. I've reviewed all all the figures, the four figures, the Jadoon, what the fuck, the Dalek, and that's been it. And the TARDIS as well. But I think that's been it. And the screwdriver. Both screwdrivers. The 720 version, the character options version. I reviewed them. I even went out of my way. 
to reveal a piece of shit light painting sonic screwdriver and i had to buy two of them because the first one i bought didn't work and you couldn't replace the batteries what the shit this is where we're at you know and i'm tired of it and i'm done so um if if people are going to gravitate toward people who get these things sent to them early and they make a review and go it's great even though it's crap and then a couple of weeks later this fat beardy irish dickhead comes along and, and finally gets a review of it done because he's finally got it to his part of the world which now has gotten harder to do because of the the sea border brexit all that sort of stuff because i live in northern ireland and it's a bit of a fucking disputed zone at the moment thanks so much uk government you bunch of pricks but it is so difficult to get shit sent to us now even from america it is a fucking disgrace but yeah finally i get my hands on it and i review it and i go guys this is crap what the fuck is this you get fucking spammed with hatred and to be honest with you i don't really give a fuck about hatred anymore i'm kind of that guy that just goes hey <laughs> call me a wanker 16. what are you doing oh, i like to keep a a list of the amount of times that i've been called something <laughs> what a twat. Ooh, 47. <laughs> I stole that from Anthony, who stole it from something else. But that's beside the point. Uh, I like to do a ramble. I like to ramble and talk rubbish about things because uh, I'm on the autistic spectrum. You know? So, uh, Asperger's, baby. Uh, even though Asperger's is no longer a thing, it's just it's been uh, put underneath the umbrella of, uh, of, of autism. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah true story bro true story so yes this is, this is a video of a, a, a mildly autistic person uh talking about why he doesn't want to play with toys on the internet anymore <laughs> yeah so um i'm gonna wrap this up now because i really am just starting to talk waffles and irons here but that's sort of the long and short of it to sum this up and wrap it up into a nice big view because how long have I been rambling for now? How long has that been going? Jesus, whack, 31 minutes? What the fuck are you still doing here? 31 minute long video? You mad, bro? What's going on? Um, I've had some thoughts. So, I was thinking, a lot of people seem to like the live streams. YouTube doesn't. YouTube does not like the, my live streams at fucking all. To the point where they almost crippled my channel making them over 2020 I think it was so I was thinking of if I can get it set up maybe do a couple of live streams every once in a while on the the archive channel so that would be fun uh, as for the toy reviews I want to take a step away from them aside from occasionally like if there's if there's like a big thing I'll do a review of it if there's something where I'm like oh my god this is great and I need to tell people um, I'll do a review on it but primarily what I want to stick to is Doctor Who toy reviews because I know they do well regardless of whether or not I review them immediately or I review them weeks after everyone else has. Uh, same with BattleBots because both of those tie in to the two big things on this channel which are Doctor Who BattleBots. So if you imagine it as, as like a little kind of linked sort of tree thing coming down from that like you have the toy review in the middle and then if you come up here it's like BattleBots Doctor Who so like you can go, oh well, there's a BattleBots thing. That's that's a toy from BattleBots. I can review this because people will watch. Uh, oh, this is a Doctor Who thing. Oh, it's the new Sonic screwdriver David Tennant's using in the sixth year. Uh, I can review this because it's to do with Doctor Who. Doctor Who does well through spoilerific reviews, you know. So yeah, that's that's kind of my thoughts from my brain, where my thoughts tend to live. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So I'm going to bugger off now because I've got more Outweigh Anarchy editing to do. Uh, and hopefully talk to you guys soon. Until then, farewell. I was swinging in this video, I don't know why. I'm in a swingy mood. Aw, oh, I wanted to go the whole way around. Hello. <laughs> Bye!